Well, hello and good evening to all of you. Unfortunately, it appears that the weather hasn't quite read the script here. There has been a dreadful downpour from well before the moment the turnstiles opened, and there is considerable concern on the faces of the officials. We think it's going to be OK. Clearly, the pitch will be slippery. It'll be a challenge for those who have to officiate, never mind those who have to play. They know they are not going to be in for an easy game. But the crowd is all in, and the match, I'm delighted to be able to say, will go ahead. A spectacular sea of blue here. Ibrox showing its colours, as it does for every Rangers game. Rangers have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. And that gets things running. Our field. That intervention was very necessary. And that has been clubbed away. Goldson. Hit into the middle. Shapes to shoot! Davis. Tries a header! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class weight. Tries to get it forward quickly. Steve Davis. So it is still nil-nil. Gorgeous control there. That's offside. Yes, it is. to face with has a hit oh well intercepted really alert to the danger Steve Davis this is promising looking to get within range over the line and that'll be a goal kick <laughs> tries to stroke it through goalkeeper's ball Tries 
managed to locate someone up front. Sticks in a foot to win it back. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Our field. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Any strong opinions on the... Here we go again, then. Rangers playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half, despite this scoreline. Converting chances would make a world of difference for them. a look and place it in hoists it forward he's made sure that that won't get through Well, that's where he wants it. Cuts it out. <laughs> Ross County ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. Nicely measured pass. Shot a goal! Back of the net! The breakthrough strike! Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Rangers draw first blood here. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. so far Jim well I'm inclined to feel that if I was in that dugout I'd want the players to, to get on the front foot and grab another just try to, to make this one safe played in with accuracy good challenge he just stood firm looks to bypass the midfield Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. Well played, he saw that coming. Steve Davis. Back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway.
Ross County are making a change now. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Rangers take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. And it's played forward, and once more they can't get through. Our field. Tries a shot! about that I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too it was all very well drilled Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Flanagan. The referee has seen enough. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. Your final thoughts, Jim? Rangers can certainly give themselves a pat on the back for a job well done.